Hi, I'm feeling kind of nervous talking about codependency. Codependency is very, very much like alcoholism. It's, you're just never off the wagon. Somehow, if you're not careful, you can always end up just getting back into that downward spiral. An alcoholic knows that they mustn't ever touch another drink. And a codependent finds it really hard not to end up getting back into another codependent relationship. Codependents come from all sorts of backgrounds, but we all have something in common, that somewhere in our family of origin, when we were young, there was a person that needed a lot of extra care, and we had to put our needs on one side. There was something somewhere that triggered this need for us to look after people and to very often forget our own needs, which was a destructive thing for us because it completely meant that we disregarded our basic, basic rights as human beings. There are alcoholics, which are the very um, traditional role model of where this codependency can come from. But also there are people who have nervous breakdowns, there might be people who are terminally ill that need that caring. And very often codependents are from, you know, we end up doing caring professions, teachers, counsellors, carers. We love caring for people. We are actually lovely people, but we end up feeling terrible and we can end up feeling really low, we can end up getting really bad self-esteem. Because if you're codependent, you just don't look after yourself enough. It's well known with carers how they need to take a break. Um, with professional counsellors uh, and carers and doctors, they know they need time out. Otherwise, they're not going to be their best selves. They're not going to be working for their customers and clients as well as they could be. But codependents don't do that, they don't take time out, they don't look after themselves, they give everything they've got, they give too much. Mm -hmm. And then, when they don't get the love and the appreciation back, they get angry, really angry, really resentful, and the anger builds up and builds up. But, we're not allowed to show it because the person we're caring for needs has better and higher needs than us. That's what we've come to feel. And society very often will punish us if we show any need to look after ourselves or if we lose our temper, particularly in public, um, with the person we're caring for, then we end up looking like the bad guys. Codependents can be men or women. It tends to be more women because they seem to get into the caring profession, but it hits every walk of life. You can be heterosexual, you can be gay, you can be any race. It can happen in any sort of relationship. Um, and we do go on to finding these codependent relationships. Somewhere there are little tiny signs at the beginning. The person will be absolutely lovely at the beginning, but we'll see somewhere where we need it. There'll be the jigsaw fit somehow we will just realise that this feels comfortable, it feels um, familiar, and we get sucked into it. And when we don't get our needs met, very often we can end up becoming alcoholics ourselves, or binge eaters, or turning to drugs, or um, binge eating and then making ourselves sick just to show that we are still all slim and beautiful and we haven't put weight on or we couldn't possibly be doing anything like secret eating. Or we can be doing binge shopping, we can gamble, we can spend all our money and end up totally financially bereft and, and hopeless. There are so many weird things we will do to keep into this downward circle, this need to care for the other person this triangle of persecution and then rescuing and then maybe being angry because the person hasn't been appreciative of us. I'm hoping that this might have given you a few clues into codependency and uh, in the future 
hopefully we will look at ways of trying to get out of codependency, getting out of this downward spiral and getting into a more healthy relationship. It's been great to talk to you. Talk soon. Bye.